Dear audience, welcome back. Today I am going to discuss about the cosine formula of spherical trigonometry. To know about it, first of all, we have to know about the plane triangle and plane trigonometry. Dear audience, if all the points of a triangle exactly lie on the same plane, then that triangle is known as the plane triangle. In the figure, A, B, C is a plane triangle. And the length of the three sides of feet are denoted by the small a, small b, and small c. And the relation between the three sides, A, B, C, and the three angles, A, B, C, are uh, expressed by the following three relations. Here, if we would like to find out the square of any side, then we can write any side square equals sum of the squares of the lengths of other two sides minus 2 into product of other two sides cosine of the angle between other two sides. So in point of that sense, we can write a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. Here, b and c are the other two sides. So a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. Similarly, we can express the other two relations. b square equals c square plus a square minus 2c a cos b. c square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c. Now I am going to discuss about the spherical triangle. Dear audience, the angle substantiated by the three arc on the surface of the sphere is known as the spherical triangle. Here A, B, C is a spherical triangle. And because three arcs A, B, B, C and A, C substand uh, bound, um, this triangle is bounded by the three arc AB, BC, and AC on the surface of the sphere. So ABC is the spherical triangle. Now I'm going to discuss about the cosine formula of spherical trigonometry. To do that, first of all, we consider ABC be a spherical triangle whose center BO, where BC equals, AB equals, C equals angle ACB. Again, BC equals, A equals angle BAC. AC equals, sorry, AC equals, B equals angle ABC. We draw two tangents at the point A and to the arc AB and uh, sorry AC and AB, and these two tangents intersect the extended OD and extended OC and OB at the point D and E respectively. Now in now we join E with the point D and A with the point O, with the center O. Now in a plane tri triangle AED, we can write DE square equals AE square plus AD square minus 2AE AD cos A, which, um, which is the relation between the three sides and the angle between any two of them, uh, which is found in the plane trigonometry. Similarly, in the triangle OED, it is also the plane triangle. And in this plane triangle, we can write uh, DE square. DE square equals OE square plus OD square minus 2 OE into OD. And the angle between, um, the, between the two sides, OE and OD, is the EOC and it is equal to the BC that means A so we write here A 
since a d and a e are the tangents so uh, obviously obviously um, a o is the perpendicular to a d and uh, a e so from the right angle triangle a o d we can write a d square equals o d square o d square minus o a square similarly in the right angle triangle a e o here um, o e is the hypotenuse so we can write here a e square equals o e square minus o a square now adding 3 and 4 adding 3 and 4 here 3 and 4 is these adding 3 and 4 we get a d square plus a e square equals o d square minus o e square plus o e square minus o e square now arranging it we can write a d square plus a e square equals o d square plus o e square minus 2 o a square now changing changing the side of o d square plus o e square we get this and we can give we can um, uh, write it as a equation number five now again subtracting two from one we get zero equals a e square plus a d square minus two a e a d cos a that means from here we can o e square minus o d square plus two o e o d cos a oh it is the equation number one is here equation number one we get d square equals a e square plus a d square minus 2 a e a d cos a and subtracting 2 from 1 we get d square d square will be cancelled so the remaining product is the a e square plus a d square minus 2 a e a d cos a minus o e square plus minus o d square plus 2 o e o d cos a so i have written it here okay now a d square and a e square arranging those a d uh, a d square where is the a d square a d square uh, plus a e square arranging those two terms within a bracket and uh, o d square and o e square arranging those two terms in another bracket another two brackets we get this and in place of a e a d cos a and minus 2 o e o d cos a i write these two term here and in the later line we can write uh, 0 e equals a d square plus a square means minus 2 o a square so i put it here and other two terms are remaining same um, 2 a 2 o e i write the 2 o e o d cos a and arranging those terms to the both side of the equal sign and we get 2 o e into o d cos a equals 2 o a square plus 2 a e a d cos a and the cos a dividing both side by the 2 o e o d then we get o a square divided by o e o d a e into a d divided by o e o d cos a but o a and o d and these also can be arranged in this way o a by o d into o a by o e plus a d by o d into a e by o e cos a from the figure you will find that o a by o d o a by o d it is the hypotenuse and it is the it is the base it is the base if you consider it is the base if you consider this the angle so it is the base so hypotenuse 
O D is the oh, sorry O A is the uh, base and O D is the hypotenuse. The base by hypotenuse means the cos. So cos this angle. This angle means the oppo opposite side of it is B. So we can write cos B. Similarly, O A by O E we can write cos C. Cos C and A D by O D. What is the A D here? A D is the this this is ad and od is here this this is the hypotenuse and it is the perpendicular so perpendicular by uh, hypotenuse or oh, we can uh, we know that it is the sine so we can write sine b because the similarly uh, ae by ae by oe what is the ae a is there here this and OE means here this it is a perpendicular and it is the hypotenuse so perpendicular by hypotenuse means sine and the angle between these two uh, is, the angle is the um, the angle of these is the this okay it is a hypotenuse and if you if we consider in the acute angle these then the opposite side of it is the C so C and in place of cos A I have written here cos A so cos A equals cos B cos C plus sine B sine C cos A similarly we can write cos B equals cos A cos C sine A sine C cos B similarly cos C equals cos a cos b plus sine a sine b cos c so the cosine rule is proved here i hope that you could understand today's lesson and later i'll come with the next video till then goodbye